Ash, and I'm inside Hub Culture's Ice House in Davos. Really pleased to be joined by Travis Bickham. Thanks so much for coming along. Thanks for having me here. It's a pleasure. So at Trade Shift, you guys have been doing some interesting stuff over there next door uh, at the at the sanctuary. Is that what it's called? Yes, indeed. Tell me what you've been doing. Great. So we're actually running uh, two venues. One, as you mentioned, is a sanctuary that's in partnership with CNBC. So we've been running some really great content sessions out of there. You know, both in the morning and then throughout the day for live broadcast. A couple of interesting panels and cocktail evenings. Then in our other venue, the chapel, just down the promenade, is where we've been doing our more social scene. I think I might have seen you in our party last night. I think I was there. It was awesome. Yeah. You had Jacques Lavoisier and then DJ... We can't say it. We can't say it. But Somebody it was else. someone very, very exciting. I will say that. Uh -huh. So that was fantastic. We had a really nice event with Matt Damon and Water.org. And uh, you know, seeing the impact they're making one-to-one -one on the ground, mm -hmm. and then having us come in and really try to take the platform business-to-business -business approach to scaling that, I think was such a productive conversation. So that was really rewarding. And then not to mention you know, the beauty, and you walk down the street and you meet people you've always it's wanted amazing, to chat to. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about, um, I know you had Stuart Russell over mm -hmm. uh, and talking about AI. Tell me a couple of things that really hit you from that. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that was a fantastic chat. I, uh, I did a one-on-one -on -one fireside chat with uh, Stuart, who near and dear to my heart is a fellow Cal Bear. So that was great. And uh, oh, it's all <laughs> UCs, <laughs> right? <laughs> I was going to do an eight class. Actually. Oh, no, let's not go there. <laughs> but uh, no, with Stuart, I think what, what really stood out to me uh, a couple of points he made, aside from making me afraid my fridge is going to chase me, right. is that uh, you know we may actually be nearing a point technologically where uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning are going to free people from a lot of the frankly drudgery mm -hmm. of everyday life and jobs. So, you know, we worry about the loss of jobs that comes with automation, of course. But as we know, over the long term, that actually creates new industries. And his hope and mine as well is that those will be you know more creative and more enriching and more rewarding than some of the post-industrial manual work we see. Anything else that hits you from this week? Hmm, wow. I mean, I think that, you know, the atmosphere here started the week a little bit subdued, mm -hmm. you know, it was because of political rhetoric of the past year and, you know, various international crises. But I think by the end, you know, especially after some of the speeches we saw and some of the content that was put together, you know, people really have marching orders for the year. And I think that a lot of good things are going to come out of the discussions in Davos. Travis, thank you so much for stopping by the Hub Culture Pavilion here it's in Davos. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm Edie Lush. Thank you.